Jesus, draw us so God out of the darkness. Draw us so God out of the world. Draw us so God over every addition. Draw us out in the name of Jesus. I command my soul to bless the Lord. 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 Says He's our great defender. He's our strong tower, oh yes he is, and he has never lost a battle, oh no, 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 he has never lost a battle. Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 7, the word of the Lord reads, but grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Amen. Say amen to the reading of God's word this afternoon we are in part three of our perpetual fulfillment series and we're going to minister we're going to teach and preach with this thought in our hearts and in our minds just simply the power of muscle memory the power of muscle memory muscle memory is a term used to describe look at it, it's on the screen the ability of muscles to do what remember to, to and to perform specific movements or tasks more efficiently with repeated practice. Look at this. Evidence that I have muscle memory is seen in my character. See all of the things that does not line up or doesn't match what Christianity is all about. Somebody, some, somebody, somebody's confession is not lining up with what it is they actually possess. So, so, so what am I saying? So any of us can be able to say that I got muscle memory or say I've done what I need to do to be able to maintain what God has given me. But in order for me to have some evidence, somebody say evidence. In order for me to have evidence is seen in my character. What needs to be seen in my character? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 2. Here it is. I am to walk this life out with all humility. Here's the big point. You and I, we, we, we can learn. We can learn how to walk by ourselves. But how does your walk affect somebody else? Here's the word of the Lord. Paul says that I need to have the muscle memory where instead of me boasting about who I am, my supernatural reaction, my natural reaction, my supernatural reaction is take the low road. Because I got muscle memory, it is I'm going to exemplify gentleness. I'm going I'm to exemplify strength under control. It's not the fact that I'm not strong. It's not the fact that I can't get you back. It's not the fact that I can't attack. It's not the fact that I don't got receipts on you too. But because I'm exemplifying gentleness, I don't have to come every time you sin from me. Ephesians 4 2 says, with all humility and gentleness. Here it is, with patience. My natural reaction is that whenever it is that I'm going through a situation that I don't want to be in, I don't wait on God to develop me and to groom me and to grow me. That's my natural reaction. But because I hear the word of God, because I worship, because I am submitting to God's plan and purpose for my life, I built some muscle memory. Right. Evidence that, I've, that I have muscle memory is, again, it's seen in my character. He names several things in this one verse of scripture that's enough for us to be studying on for the rest of the year. With all humility. Verse 2 again. With, and gentleness. Patience. Bearing with one another in love. To bear one another is to endure something unpleasant or difficult, whether on one's own behalf or the behalf of someone else. God is saying, I'm called to put up with you. I'm anointed to be able to deal with your mess. The evidence that I have muscle memory is seen in my combustion. Good God Almighty. Oh, what do you mean, bro, Pastor? There is a combustion. Oh, there is something that God has put in me. That whenever it is I tap into what he put in me, there's going to be an explosion. So Paul said, because you got the power and because it's working in you, he said, I need you to walk therefore. I need you to walk worthily of the power that you have received. And Paul tells me in this seven verse, he said that the Lord has given you the grace. He said the Lord has given you what you need. I know people are mean, but 
the Lord said I've given you the grace I know people are vindictive but the Lord said I've given you the grace I know people are messy but the Lord said I've given you the grace I know your mama had some mess but the Lord said I'm giving you the grace I know your daddy wasn't present but the Lord said I'm giving you the grace the Lord said if you'll trust me to forgive I'll give you the grace that you need to be able to take that bitterness out your heart. The Lord told me to tell you, if you would trust him to be able to let it go, the Lord will give you the grace that you need. Come on say, his grace, his grace will cause me to do what I can't do in my own strength. I know you can't forgive, but his grace will give you what you need. I know you don't want to speak to him no more, but his grace will give you what you need. I know you don't want to do people no more. You've been hurt so many times. You've been dropped so many times. You've been offended so many times. I know they committed adultery. I know they lied on you. I know they stole your money. But the Lord told me to tell you that his grace... On behalf of our pastors, Pastor Kobe and Camilla Nesbitt, as well as the Truth and Love Ministries family, we want to thank you for joining us for our virtual worship experience. Remember to like, share, and repost. Right here, right now, we invite you to partner with us as we continue to impact our surrounding communities. You can help us through your generosity. Here are some simple, safe, and secure ways to do just that. You can text TIL Jack to the number 77977 or scan the QR code on your screen. Go to our website at www.truthinlove.tv or go to the Apple or Google Play Store and download the app, Truth In Love Jack. Not only can you show your generosity there, but it will keep you informed. We thank you for your participation and for your generosity. We will see you next time. Here comes the church.